What's up guys? This is Jigs Crypto and welcome to my channel. All of the links for the news are in the description below if you want to check it out. Also, make sure to like the video to help the channel. It also helps people to discover our videos in this channel. Now, let's take a look at our daily crypto news. First up, we have uh, this news coming from analyticsinsight.net. So, it says here, ApeCoin makes silent moves. Can it become the NFT crypto king? As I highlighted co coming from the article, ApeCoin is the crypto that represents the Board Ape Yacht Club NFT collection. Um, its largest surge comes after the global high-end pa passion brand Gucci's announcement to adapt ApeCoin payments for in-store purchases in the U.S. Apparently, Gucci became the first brand to accept Ape as a payment option in its U.S. store. So, as we know in the previous um, news that I covered a couple of days ago, um, we know that um, Gucci um, has been rolling out in, I think, all, in all of its stores in, in the U.S. Um, to accept uh, more um, crypto tokens in their payment. So, one of, one of the token that they're going to be accepting is ApeCoin. Um, going to the article again, uh, it would enable customers to make crypto payments by scanning a QR code with a crypto wallet via BitPay. The company has not yet detailed the reason behind choosing Ape, but definitely comment commented that the move is a step toward the company's attempt to explore the Web3 domain. So currently, the ApeCoin price continues to hold above a crucial support range amid growing various uh, sentiments in the crypto market. Um, but Gucci's attempt to venture into the Web3 domain have enabled ApeCoin to demonstrate its true growth potential as an NFT crypto asset. The widespread upspring in the crypto market is also one of the many reasons why a rally in the ApeCoin crypto was triggered. Now, we can only wish that the Ape token reaches the $10 mark as soon as possible. At the time of writing in this article, the ApeCoin price was revolving around the $7 mark. So, uh, this article was posted around August 6. So, uh, at the time of writing, it is probably around $7 mark. But, if it successfully crosses the $8 mark, it will guarantee Ape's rally above the $10 resistance. Um, let me take a look quickly at uh, ApeCoin price right now. Let's see. Currently, it's around, as of recording of this news, $7.33. <clears throat> Alright, let's go to our next news. Um, this is coming from Coindesk.com. Um, crypto lender Voyager Digital to reopen cash withdrawals next week. That is good news for its customers. Um, as I highlighted from the... <clears throat> article, sorry about that. The company, which is undergoing bankruptcy proceedings, received court approval for the 270 million plan on Thursday. So the plan comes after Voyager, which is going through bankruptcy proceedings, gained court approval Thursday to honor customers' dollar withdrawal requests from Metropolitan Commercial Bank where Voyager had a deposit account. In a blog post, Voyager said it could take 5 to 10 days to process return requests. It's okay um, as long as you know their customers get their money back. Um, waiting for 5 to 10 days is still good enough. So, continuing, Voyager, which is helmed by CEO Steve 
Ehrlich. Uh, hopefully, I pronounced it right. Comment down below if I did it. Filed in July for bankruptcy protection after suffering massive losses stemming from the implosion of crypto hedge fund Three Rose Capital and the broader crypto market downturn. Its customers had lent it billions of dollars in crypto assets. So those tokens remained locked up for now, right? So it's a good news. Uh, we'll will take a while for customers to, you know, to process their requests. Um, but yeah, it's okay. All right, this is coming from um, analyticsinsight.net. Um, this is a succeeding news regarding the um, uh, Solana hack last week. So, as the article title is, Solana developers um, put the crypto step blame on Slope Wallet. So, as we highlighted from the article here, so as we know, last August 2, more than 8,000 Solana hot wallets were hacked. So the attackers made up with an estimated 8 million in stolen crypto. At the, at the time, Solana recommended users to switch to hardware wallets. However, this was little consola uh, consolation to the big teams who lost funds. On August 4, Solana updated the community after it was discovered that the affected addresses were part of Slope wallet ecosystem. So yeah, I, I know this is a bit a bit late for us, but it's still it's still the news that we want to know how how or you know what happened to the uh, hacking of that event. Um continuing with the um article so slope is a web-based crypto wallet, mobile app, and a browser extension. So browser extension like Metamask and Ronin. So it allows users to send and receive tokens on the Solana network and integrates with Solana Pay. Um, Slope users were urged to create brand new wallets with alternative providers and to transfer their crypto assets to those new wallets. In a statement Wednesday afternoon, Slope acknowledged that a cohort of its wallet were compromised. So Slope issued a letter to its customer stating that it had a hypno hip hypothesis about the breach, but could not confirm anything yet. Um, we have some hypotheses as the nature of the breach, but nothing is yet confirmed or peer. Uh, the statement read, we feel the community's pain and we were not immune. Many of our staff and founders' wallets were drained, it said. Slope said hard wallets were not affected and a pool post-mortem was income. Right? Uh, so that's an update with the Solana hack. Sorry guys, I'm having a hard time with my recording right now. Um, have a little cup and my, my usual um, um, sinusitis attack. <laughs> so sorry if I'm not speaking well with, it, with this video. So hope you guys understand. Just drinking a little water right now. All right, let's continue. Our next uh, article is coming from CryptoBriefing.com. Uh, it says here, Chainlink Staking, a new chapter in the link economy. Mm, all right. So with Chainlink token staking set to launch this year, later this year, CryptoBriefing explores how the decentralized Oracle networks future will look. Alright, uh, plans to grow Chainlink's Oracle network and shore up its security through a new token staking system could give the project a new lease of life in the second half of 2022. To shore up the security of Chainlink's Oracle network, its developer plan to implement 
a staking system similar to those found in proof of stake blockchains. After staking is implemented, nodes will have to lock up linked tokens as a collateral, which can be taxed or slash if a node misreports data. So linked token slash from these honest validators will then be redistributed to honest validator. So we'll have to dig in some more news regarding how this works in the future. So from from the article again, so Chainlink aims to release a 0.1 version of its staking system later this year. At first, staking nodes will only provide a price feed for the ETH USDT pair and launch with limited functionality. So however, if the 0.1 version launches without any issues, developers will release version 1.0, adding additional functionality such as stake slashing and incorporating user fees into rewards. So yeah, this is good for Chainlink. Hopefully it goes well for them. Um, usually the, there's there's a lot of issues you know with this for, for uh, on their projects you know there's there's some delay or you know not going to full version itself as it said in this article here all right so this will be our last news for today this is coming from um you that today um uh, i know uh when you watch my uh price update daily price update um it, in the top 20 or top 10 dogecoin is always in the 10th place as i cover it i remember last friday or thursday um i al always recognize the top 10 and the top number 10 on you know as i said number 10 is always dogecoin and number 11 is polkadot and when I was doing the price uh, update, I was surprised, uh, but didn't you guys? I did. I did show it to you guys in my voice, but I was surprised that Dogecoin uh, moved to number eleven and Polkadot uh, moved up to number ten during that uh, price update. So yeah, this is the the news news for it. We're covering it right now. Dogecoin lost a tenth spot in crypto rankings to Polkadot, but Dutch price remains in range, so it's not not really that much uh, changes in the market cap. Um, but yeah, Polkadot made it to number ten. The Dutch coin has been pushed out of the top in uh, top ten currencies by market cap capitalization by Polkadot or DOT. Uh, Dutch coin now ranks as the eleventh largest cryptocurrency with a market worth of nine point twenty eight billion. After relinquishing its previous held 10th position to Polkadot. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Which now has a market worth of 9.62 billion. So, continuing, Dogecoin price largely remains unchanged despite a slew of positive news um, in the weeks highlighted by a new release. Exchange listing and renewed backing from Tesla CEO Elon Musk. So as reported by you that today, Michi Lumin, a Dogecoin core developer, has announced the initial release of uh, Lib Dogecoin, hope I pronounced it right, a C library of Dogecoin building blocks without the requirement for developers to have in-depth knowledge of blockchain technology Lib Dogecoin is a C library that enables lightweight the direct integration of Dogecoin into several platforms. It's good. Um, usually, if you have some library that you can use, as you know, I'm a programmer myself. So if you only use the core languages um, without these libraries, you have to do it. Uh, everything by yourself, coding by yourself. But if you have a library that you can use, you can already uh, use uh, some snippet of codes using that library to be able to, you know, uh, do much quicker uh, development. You know, like for example, in, in this uh, 
uh, in the Dogecoin uh, integration. So, yeah, this is good. Um, sorry for the missed letter here. So, from the same article, during a uh, recent appearance on the Pulsen podcast, uh, Tesla CEO Elon Musk reiterated his support for Dogecoin. In response to a query on cryptocurrencies, Musk stated, I'm mainly supporting Dodge, frankly, <laughs> while saying that it had memes and dogs. <laughs> um, Mas asserts that despite being intended as a ridiculous joke currency, Dogecoin has real, real utility. He stated that compared to Bitcoin, Dogecoin has a larger transaction capacity. So, you know, as we know, um, <clears throat> Dogecoin started as a meme coin, but I know developers has been working to uh, make Dogecoin relevant to cryptocurrency. Um, there's another meme coin that I need to mention. This is not, uh, uh, again, I, I need to let you guys know this is not a um, uh, ad, uh, ad advice or investment advice. So don't quote me on anything regarding, um, you know, uh, investment in cryptocurrency. So there's another meme coin that I like. It's Shiba Inu. Had some little investment from last year and again this year. Um, uh, I know there's some been developments. Um, it's a meme coin, but, you know, uh, they're going to be having some real utility or, you know, real um, application uh, in the industry for, for crypto. So... Let's see when we see some news regarding that other meme coin. But yeah, this is good for uh, Dogecoin. Not good for uh, going down to 11, but good that they have the, a library record called Leap Dogecoin. All right. And that's it. Don't forget to smash the like button and hit the notification bell to... Uh, to get updated with the latest videos. And this is Jigs Crypto signing out.